guys. Just wanted to say I'm sorry if you've watched my vlogs and uh, were disappointed in my last vlog because of my swearing. Things have been working. Like I've, I've been pretty happy with how everything's going. Um, you know, I was a little disappointed. Golf got the better of me. You can see I am in another golf outfit. I was just practicing. I want to practice the mental side of golf because my stop, stop. tangents weren't helping out anyone. So I vow to get better at golf, but that's not what this video is about. Wanted to address it because my dad, bless his, bless his heart, called me up, let me know that that's not becoming of a gentleman and that's true. So today we're gonna be doing something else and I promise you, better not promise, I can hope there's no more swearing. Um, gonna be an exciting day. So I haven't been able to train my legs like I typically would, meaning doing back squats, front squats. I did that video two videos ago where I show you how to, to build legs without doing those exercises, squats and deadlifts. But there is something I do today for cardio that can also help you build legs. So if you wanna do some cardio and you wanna build legs at the same time, this is gonna be the video for you to watch. Before we get into it, like this, subscribe, and let's go. Pops, welcome to the vlog. You need to check your butt? You need to check your butt? That's nice. Okay, no poop, good. It's about 50-50, half the time we gotta wipe his butt. If you're a French Bulldog owner, or just an English Bulldog owner maybe, you need to you feel my pain. Dude, what are you, what have you been up to? Should we show everyone your trick? All right, let's show people. Okay, okay, come here. Guys, um, I know I said I wasn't gonna swear, just technically is gonna swear with. Swear word, sit, shake, down, shake, down. Show me your wiener. Usually he rolls over, but it's a good trick. It's a good trick, huh? Dad, not on YouTube, not on YouTube, Dad. All right, so I got my buddy Chris coming over. Um, he comes from Ultra Running Shoes, Outdoor, Backcountry.com, Cannondale Bikes. Very, very, just a Swiss Army knife. I call him my Swiss Army knife. Is an Eagle Scout. Most Eagle Scouts get like, I don't know what it is, 35, 40 merit badges. The dude got 90. He's my Swiss Army knife. Knows everything about off-roading. So today, we're gonna be taking out my new mountain bike and we're gonna go to one of the coolest trails in this area in St. George. Roll that footage. It has beautiful mountain biking trails. Just, and they had the Red Bull Rampage here. So I did a video of mountain biking a while back. And being 215 pounds, mountain biking just sucks. But I have a secret weapon now. I have a secret weapon. Let's show you guys what that is. All right, we got professional Swiss Army knife. The man that uh, knows more about bikes than I ever will, but he's the one that got me hooked up with my secret weapon. The specialized Levo. What is this right here? Look at this sexy, look at that. I even like the green. So this is the bike Specialized hooked me up with. His is not an electric <laughs> one. We'll just say that right now. He's just that good at biking. How much do you weigh, Chris? Uh, buck 85, buck Six foot six, 185 pounds. Six foot one, 215 pounds. I'm really glad I got my secret weapon. Look at you. We need to name her. What are we naming her? Esmeralda. I don't know why Esmeralda's okay. green. Why is Esmeralda green? Emerald, Esmera? I don't know. I don't know why I went there. The trail, the trail we're going to today, I've never been to. It's got some sick views, but it, there is a crazy cliff that someone just told me, I was talking to someone, they found somebody at the bottom of it who accidentally went off. Oh really? Yeah, so super stoked for that. Beginner here, going with an expert. I'm gonna try to keep up along a cliffside. What could go wrong? Knock on wood, knock on, where's that? Where's some wood here in the house? I don't know, we're gonna have to, I'll have to find some wood to knock on. All right, saddle up partner. All right, before we, uh, before we kick the tires and light the fires, I'm gonna get a little, little scoop in the Camelback uh, water bottle here of our peach mango pump product. Um, just has a creatine in it. 
and I'm a big fan of, when I take creatine, I, I take it every day. Like, I definitely recommend if you are wanting to get stronger, if you're wanting to be get bigger, creatine is one of the most studied supplements out there. So I'm gonna take this pump product beforehand. It doesn't have any caffeine. My heart rate is already gonna be high enough that I don't need to add in some caffeine and make it skyrocket. So we're just gonna do like three quarter scoop here of the pump product in there. It'll be nice to, to sip on some peach mango while we're riding. It's time to go turbo time out here uh, at the gym trails, spelled J-E-M. We're doing a specific one called more cowbell. Can I get some more cowbell? Reminds me of the Christopher Walken, Will Ferrell. If you haven't seen the best of Will Ferrell on Saturday Night Live, what are you doing with your life? I gotta have more cowbell. You know, I'm gonna need some more cowbell. I'm gonna need some more cowbell. That's what I think I could use. So today we're gonna be doing that and uh, hopefully everything goes safe and sound. Always, always, always wear your helmet. Whoa, what is all this, man? What does this get up? I'm on the uh, Ultra Ambassador team, so I got a rep. I didn't get a gun. Did you get a gun? Yeah, but what if they shot you in the face? What if he shot me in the face? That's a risk we were willing to take. And just because I forgot to do it earlier, Knock on wood. I'm a beginner mountain biker. And the reason I like mountain biking is because if you're looking to build leg muscle, it's a great way to do that. Tom Platts. Pump it hard, fast. The greatest, not even, I was gonna say arguably, not even arguably the greatest legs of all time. He biked basically every day to the gym and developed just massive legs. So if you maybe can't do squats like me right now, or if you just wanna develop legs, but you also like doing cardio, obviously you still have to be taking in enough calories to build muscle, and I'm not talking about four hours of cardio. We're gonna be out here today about 90 minutes or so, uphill, downhill, having fun, protecting the back. Um, not gonna be too anything too crazy today for me. Um, I might watch Chris do some awesome stuff, but I'm gonna be protecting that lower back. Um, I'm gonna turn on my whoop right now as well. We're gonna get that started. I did play golf earlier today, practice golf, so I already have like a strain of you know, almost 10 and a half. So today we could approach 15, 16 out here. That's a good day. If I can hit 15 every day on my whoop, I'm gonna be sitting pretty. So if you guys wanna check out more whoop, we have the link in the bio, um, or you can always just use my code when you get one and save. So it's Steve Cook. But yeah, let's do this dang thing. I'm gonna start my activity on my whoop. Here we go. All right, switching to GoPro mode in three, two, one. Time to go turbo time. Give him more cowbell. Uh, all right. Got our first little jump, our first little ramp. It might not look like much, but it's significant. Like, look where Chris is. Chris is 6'6. Six, six. We lose him here. So, this is like my first baptism by fire. And I don't have to go, I don't have to catch air on this. Okay, we're going to give it a go. You got like three feet of air that time. I gotta have more cowbell, baby. All about trying new things to get your heart racing, even though, you know, if you're a mountain biker, if you've done this before, that looks like kiddies play. But it's always good to be a beginner, suck at something and then get better at it. Today, it's just nice being out here. Feels good. A little weekend ultimate warrior. All right, made it back to the truck safe and sound, which is always the most important thing. Um, Got to hand it to this bike. It did wonders on that trail. Absolutely stunning views. February out here in St. George, Utah. We're actually in Hurricane. It's, you spell it Hurricane, but if you ever come here, don't say Hurricane. It's Hurricane. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. That's how people know if you're local or not, so say Hurricane. Uh, a little whoop overview. Um, burned 753 calories. My whoop score for the day now is almost 15. So it'll be 15 definitely by the time we are done. And uh, it was a 
damn good session, that is for sure. So we're gonna put the bikes away. I worked up an appetite and there is a great place called River Rock Roasting with the most incredible view in the town of Hurricane. We're gonna go get some grub right there and uh, job done, day for it. All right, every time I come out here to Hurricane, I make sure to stop at this spot. Great coffee, even better view. They even have pizza and ice cold beer. Look at all this deliciousness. Oh, Dude, did you burn enough calories? Dude, I always burn enough calories. That's what happens when you're 6'6 six, and six a crazy metabolism. Dude, look at this thing. Yeah, that thing's intense. I'll split one of those. And Becky, she knows what's up. Your girl Becky, Becky with the good hair. You better call Becky with the good hair. I'm probably getting a coffee, a pizza, and a dessert. Oh my goodness gracious. So, I went with the pizza. A little truffle mushroom pizza, because we burned a lot of calories. And then this cinnamon roll. Look at that, look how massive that is. Like, I got a big hand. That thing is huge. Little uh, meal with the view. Not bad here. Mm. Should I eat the dessert before the pizza? I can't leave this in front of me without eating it. Like it's, I, I, I gotta eat some. This thing is amazing. Goodness gracious. I don't know if you guys are into watching people eat things on YouTube. I'm sure that's a whole like YouTube like thing, but mmm. Might be an only fans thing. Mm. <laughs> YouTuber only fans, which one? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, mushroom and olive truffle pizza. And this is where we're gonna be parting ways because I'm gonna sit here, watch the sun go down, enjoy this pizza. It's been a fun day. Definitely worked up an appetite, polished off <laughs> the cinnamon roll. It was so good. I'm now like 50% full though, so we'll see how much of this I could eat. But uh, until next vlog, we're doing vlogs three days a week right now. Um, hopefully you guys like this and appreciate you as always. If you ever get an opportunity to come here to Hurricane, Utah, make sure to check out River Rock Roasting. See you guys.